You've heard me say it before, you should be backing up the data on your computer on a regular basis to avoid losing your most important files permanently. When backing up, it's best to follow the 321 rule. You should have three copies of your data in total, two of those copies at your location on different devices, and one copy off-site in case of a fire, flood, or other disaster that destroys your local backups. We'll deal with the off-site cloud services in another video. In this video, I'll show you how to use the primary tool built into Windows 10 called File History. It easily lets you back up your personal files to an external drive that you can access locally when you need them. Here's how you set it up and use it. To begin, open the Settings app. If you're new to Windows 10, in the lower left, click the Windows icon and select Settings. Go to Update and Security. In the left pane, select Backup. Before moving forward, connect an external drive to your computer. If you need an external drive, I'll list the ones I've used in the description of this video that I recommend. To the left of Add a Drive, click the plus. Now choose your drive. You'll now see an on-off slider for automatically backup my files. File history by default will back up all folders located in your user folder every hour while the external drive is connected. To change any of the settings, click on More Options. In Backup Options, here at the top, you can run a manual scan by clicking the Backup Now button. You can change how often your files are backed up. Your choices are every 10 minutes, all the way up to once a day. The default to keep your backups is forever. You can lower this from two years, all the way down to until space is needed. Let's scroll down the page to the Backup These Folders section. To add a new folder, click the plus to navigate your computer for additional folders. To remove a folder, click on it and select Remove. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page. Below the included folders, select the plus to exclude specific folders. This can come in handy if you have folders that you don't want included inside of the other folders that are included. And if you need to switch to a new backup drive, Click on Stop Using Drive. Go back to the previous page and repeat the steps mentioned earlier to add a new drive. Now that you know how to use file history, you no longer have an excuse to not back up your data. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on our latest Windows 10 tips and tricks videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.